Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, first we have got some vocabulary. We are going to match the vocabulary first, and then uh, we, we do the reading very quickly. Um, so the first word is a part of a country similar to a state. Province. province. It is a province, yes. Yes. Like in Canada, we have got provinces. But in the United States, it is, they call them states. Okay, that's why it says that it's similar to a state. B. Uh, related to commerce and money. Economic. 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 Very good. Economic. Yes. Economic. Yes. And uh, to move quickly. Rush. 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 Yes. Rush. Yes. Is moving quickly. Uh, B. The regulars rise and fall off the level of the sea. Tide. Tide. Remember, Tide. we talked about it yesterday. Tides. And do you know why they happen? Uh, because of the moon gravity. Gravity, yeah. It's because of the moon uh, gravity. It happens. Oh, we've got two people waiting outside. I didn't notice them. Okay. So, the next one is... Uh, to empty or to flow away? Drain. 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 Mm -hmm. Drain. Drain. Yeah, mm -hmm. especially when we are talking about a canal or uh, when we are talking about uh, just uh, uh, drainage. Okay, that is called, we call it drain. They pull away or they flow away the uh, water uh, from the canals. Okay, it is called drain. The verb is drain. Also, we have drainage, okay? So, yeah. F is a part of sea enclosed by a large curve of shore. Bay. 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 Enclosed by a large curve of shore. It is bay. Bay. That's Bay of Fundy. That's what we're going to talk about today. Um, yeah, it's a part of sea which is enclosed by large curve of shore. So, it is surrounded by land. But uh, uh, one part, it is joined to the uh, ocean or to the sea. So, G, to join together with? Combine. 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 Combine, yes, means to join together. To join together with something is combine. The next word is to move smoothly like water. Flow. 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 Mm -hmm. flow. It is flow. flow. Yeah, usually the water or any liquids can flow. So the next one is uh, to hold. Contain. 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 Yeah, means contain. Yes, when they hold something, they contain something. That's why we call them containers. Containers are the dishes or the. Uh, Things that you can they can hold something else. So J is to happen. Occur. 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 Yes. Occur means happen. Uh, traveling on a river on a flat structure of blocks is called rafting. Rafting. rafting yeah. Uh, number ten. Oh, number ten. Yeah. Rafting. So it is traveling on a river. Uh, on a flat structure of uh, blocks. Uh, also, we have white water rafting. You know white water rafting? White water rafting? Yes. What is white water rafting? Let me show you. White water rafting. The river has not yet moved continue. Images. This is white water rafting. You see. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, usually, when when they try to ju just raft on the, uh, uh, you know, the, the the rapid waves of the rivers, it is called white water rafting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. One of the adventures you can do it uh, in some countries. Have you ever done whitewater rafting? 
Yeah. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. Oh. Where did he do that? Uh, uh, yeah, we did it in Turkey. In Turkey. Uh, yeah. Also, I didn't. I didn't in Thailand. You did it in Thailand. Okay, yeah. good. So the next one is. Uh, which one is that? Uh, to form by cutting away. Form Careful. By cutting away. Carve. Uh, you mean carve. 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 Yes. Yes. Carve. It is. Yes. To form something by cutting it. Usually, you carve the wood in order to. Yeah. To create something new. Some. some carving the wood. stone. Carving, the, carving the wood. The stone. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when you are doing some. Uh, structuring. That is called carving. So. The uh, top of uh, a large wave, the top of a large wave is called crest. 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 So crest is the top of a large wave. The top part is called crest. And end, a hollow place in the, in the side of a cliff or a hill. Cave. Cave, yes. Cave, usually on the mountains or in the stones. We've got caves. So let's go to the reading if you don't have any questions about the vocabulary. No questions? No. Okay. No. Let's go to the reading. Uh, unfortunately, as I told you, we don't have the digital format. So I'm going to read each paragraph and uh, I will ask you questions. Bay of Fundy, the greatest tidal range in ranges in the world. Number one, the Bay of Fundy is a large body of water that sits between uh, provinces of uh, New Brunswick and Nova Scotia on uh, uh, Canada's east coast. It is famous for having some of the highest tides in the world. So where is Bay of Fundy located? No, uh, between Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. New Brunswick, and what is it famous for? The highest high in, the in the world, yes. And you know the meaning of sits between? Located. Idiomatically here it means it is located between located. The, yes, provinces okay. of New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. Uh, the bay is close to 273.5 kilometers or uh, 170 miles long and uh, from uh, 48 to 80.5 kilometers or 30 to 50 miles wide. Uh, it contains about 100 billion tons of water uh, uh, which flows in and out of the bay uh, twice a day. This tidal action has uh, has been taking place for millions of years, and the water has uh, carved uh, uh, cliffs and sea caves, sea caves into the bay's uh, 1,288 uh, uh, kilometers or 800 miles of coastline. At low tides, fossils can be found on the ocean floor. Okay, so uh, so how wide is that? Uh, bay. Uh, uh, between uh, kilometers. Mile. Yeah, it is between 42. 48 to, 48 to 80, 80, kilometers. 80, 80 five kilometers. kilometers. And how long is it? What is the length? 170 miles. Seven. Yeah, 200. Okay. And 73.5 kilometers. And uh, how much water is there? 100 billion, 100 billion, tons, of 100 billion tons of water. Yeah, and um, okay. So, what can you find on the on the uh, ocean floor uh, when it when it is to low tides? We can see oh, fossils. Uh, fossil. Fossil. A fossil. Yeah. Okay, the next part. 
High tides occur about every 12 hours during the high tide. The fast moving water rises 1.8 to 2.4 meters or six to eight feet per hour. And the bay, the bay water becomes 12.2 to 15.2 meters or 40 to 50 feet higher than the, the usual. This is five times higher than tides along the Atlantic coast. So uh, how high would be the tides? Tide is one uh, point, almost 2.4 meter. 12.2 meter. 12 to 50.2 meter. Yeah, so we have got very high tides, 12 oh, meters. Uh, how, how high is, is 12 meters? Is uh, four floors or three floors of a, of a building? Four floors. Four, four floors of a building. Yeah. So you see, yeah. it's too high. Okay, and it, 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 is, it is rising quite fast. So I think it's, it should be quite dangerous to live uh, just across the uh, bay. It's not so safe. So number four, the tidal action is due uh, mainly to the moon's gravitational force, uh, sorry, pull. Uh, the tide uh, combined with the natural wave action uh, in the bay causes the uh, water to move about as if it were a, a bathtub, okay? So, you know, as if, as if it were a bathtub. What does it mean, as if it were a bathtub? Yes, like, uh, like same, a, like, same mm -hmm. like uh, yeah. in a bathtub. Means like or same as or similar to? Similar, yes. But usually as if is used as a conjunction to connect the sentences. But you use like or same as in order to connect the noun phrases. So that's the difference. Yeah. We use as if or as though to connect the sentences. Two this sentences. is the conjunctions. Yeah. So as if yeah. it's were in a bathtub. So why do we use were? As if it were in a bathtub. It's like second condition. Very good. It's like second conditional. We are talking about something unreal. Yeah. We're talking about okay. something unreal. It is not uh, right. It's just a comparison, which is not quite similar, but it is uh, unreal. So as if it were in a bathtub, it means it looks like you are in a bathtub, okay? But but it, it, it is totally different, you know? It is much bigger than the bathtub. We know that this is just a comparison. So it causes the water to move about as if it were in a bathtub. Uh, the tidal water uh, enters the uh, wide mouth of the uh, bay, and as it moves through the, uh, through the bay's narrower parts, it builds up into a large wave or crest called a tidal bore. So I have have you have you ever seen a tidal bore? Tidal bore. Tidal bore is a large wave or crest made because of the uh, movement of the tide. It, and it is very dangerous in most places. I will show yeah. you some movies right now. I was just looking for some movies to show you what, what a tidal bore is. And it is one of the phenomena, one of the natural phenomena in the world. Um, when this boar reaches the mouth of the rivers that, uh, that drains into the uh, bay, it rushes over the top of the uh, river, uh, uh, river water, which is flowing out. This large, powerful wave of water can travel almost 19.3 kilometers or 12 miles up river before it fades away, okay? So this, this tide coming from the uh, uh, sea usually rushes to the rivers, but the rivers are actually just moving and draining the river, the water into the sea. So uh, there are two waves running into each other. Okay, that's that's why it's a, it's a strange or uh, unusual uh, wave. It's not like others, and sometimes it's, it is quite dangerous. 
So, uh, you know the meaning of drain? Drain, 